I'm just going to set that there for a minute and see if we can get someone's attention. Hello. Make some noise. Oh, shit. What the hell, man? The <laughs> <laughs> windows open <laughs> I didn't realize that window was open and welcome back everybody to seven days to die on alpha 19 experimental I'm an old guy gaming and we play this game on insane difficulty the zombies are all set to nightmare speed and we generally play on the hardest settings all right so uh, I have spent some time uh, since I left you in the last episode just kind of riding around uh, this is where we did that POI, and then I, I headed uh, east and found a snow biome and a little town here in the snow biome, including the Higashi building and another bookstore. And I did quite a bit of hunting along the way. We killed a few deer, we killed a pig, we killed two wolves, um, and I think that I think that's it. And so I have a full stack of meat here in the mini bike. Um, and then 20 more on top of that. I've been kind of unlucky finding eggs, though. I mean, I've hit probably a couple dozen birds nests and I'm getting a shitload of feathers but I'm not really finding a whole lot of eggs so I don't know what the hell's up with that because it seemed like uh, for a while there we were getting a nice little supply of eggs so anyway we'll keep looking for that uh, the reason I'm bringing you back right now though is that look what I found I found uh, another trader you know just from wandering around now I am planning on doing you know going through the quest lines so that uh, the quest themselves will lead me to the trader so this was just by chance that I happened to find this one but but the other good news though, is it's really close to the town that we're currently staying in and so you know we can uh, hop over here if we need to uh, to check this trader as well as the one that we're currently working with trader Jin. so let's save this as a, a trader work uh, um, a waypoint We'll just call that trader. And um, I also, let's see, where are we at? This is, yeah. Let's also just make this um, the a trader waypoint too, just so that way it's on the map. Because we may not, you know, be staying in this town forever anyway, so I want to remember where that one is. So let's go ahead and jump in here and, and check, uh, check things out. One thing that's really nice about Trader Hugh here um, at, you know, the log cabin based trader is that he's got a couple of munition crates and a few other things that we can loot and and he might even have like a working workbench so let's uh let's check all that stuff out so we'll go downstairs first and see uh if the I, i'm sorry work in kimbich well he's got all three stations like they all do but it's just a question of do they work so does this actually work it doesn't okay now we know and we got some golden rod out of the deal let's go in here there's a couple boxes to loot um okay a blue shovel that's probably still not as good as our iron shovel back at the base but I'll tell you what we'll take it back and and compare it just to make sure because you know one thing nice about the blue shovel is it'll use less stamina nothing in that box there and then this just kind of goes up behind Trader Hugh where his safe is in case you're not familiar with uh, this traders POI let's go check it doesn't kind of really doesn't matter if he's got a working cement or workbench because we already have that stuff now. I mean, we could look at it to see if there's something in there that we could loot, but not super critical. So here's the workbench, and it's destroyed too. Uh, yeah, we'll take that stuff, sure. We surely will. And then the cement mixer, or I mean the forge rather, is in here. And it also doesn't work. It seems like they kind of... <laughs> well, there's the schematic. We're too late now, huh? Uh, it seems like they kind of nerfed the workbenches. I've only found one so far that actually works. We will scrap this. Um, let's talk to this guy now. Uh, I just want to take a look at your inventory. And we're going to sell this right off because we don't need it. And let's sell him the money. Just to kind of free up a couple slots here for us. I don't think there's anything else in here I want to sell to him right at the moment. Let's look at his inventory really quick, and then we'll go get the rest of the stuff. So he's got... Oh, he's got a pistol. Um, He's got an orange pistol for 1920 That's And he resets on day 13. Okay, let's keep that in mind. I wouldn't mind having a pistol because, you know, the AKs, they just... You know, they use, they're so expensive to fire as a thing. Uh, needle and thread volume four. Tank top shirts and hats. Fireman's almond. 10% damage to coal and burnt wood. Okay. 
We already know the grenade schematic. This is 9mm weapons have a 20% more range when using a scope or iron sights. That's not bad either, but we're, we're still not at the point where we can, you know, just throw down a thousand bucks without thinking about it. A thousand dukes. Uh, so let's look at the normal inventory really quick here. Okay, nothing really super great. He does have some normal 7.62s, but here again, I mean, we, we, we are ready to make the Kim bench, so if it just doesn't make else, sense for me to spend money on that right now. Let's go upstairs. There's one or two things up there we can loot, and then we'll check the munitions crates outside and the rest of the stuff. Got a trash bin here. And a uh, duffel bag. Okay. And a box. Nothing. Yeah, it seems like the loot's just a little more stingy here. In oh, look at that. All right, we'll take those. That's, those are the first glasses that we found. I, I hope that we can find some nerdies. Nerdies and lucky looters are the two, really, that I mostly use because of the benefits, of course, that they give. All right, let's go outside, and can we go out through here? And check a couple things out here. So we just got a few random, you know, trash types of things to loot, but then we're going to check those two munitions crates. Nice. 52 9 mil ammo. That's not bad at all. Okay, here we go. Uh, do 2% more damage to humans. All right, that's not useful to us in a single-player game, but it's useful to us to apply towards getting the bonus in that uh, Huntsman field. Okay, Submit Mixer is damage. Oh, yeah, we'll take that. We will take that. Certainly. <laughs> okay, let's go check the munitions crates. We're a little bit overloaded now, though. So one of them's right here. Hopefully we get some 7.62 ammo, because I used a lot of that from the hunting, uh, when I did the hunting. Uh, okay, we'll take that and that. Don't really need this. Yeah, there's no point in taking that. Um, so, I don't know if you guys saw my uh, special episode that I did, you know, where we tested the zombie speed on Nightmare. Um, but if you didn't see that, or if you didn't already know this, uh, I ran into a mountain lion when I was uh, in the snow biome there, and man, they have they have changed uh, the size of those things. They are are a lot larger now. That's kind of a long jump. Okay, we're good. Um, they're they're uh, quite a bit bigger than they used to be. Um, and of course, we found out in our little special series that they hit like a Mack truck too. <laughs> they one shot at me. Uh, I didn't try to kill one of those just because, you know, it would have, okay, there's some 7.62. It would have just used a lot, you know, a lot more 7.62s and I already had used them on the wolves and the pig and the deer because I, you know, I didn't, I, I don't have enough punch with the bow yet and I just didn't want to chase them all over the place and there was a bunch of zombies around anyway so I wanted to do a quicker kill. Um, I don't think there's anything up here, is there? No. So yeah, the mountain lions, um, they're quite a bit larger and a lot scarier now too, but really cool though. I I, I like that. You know, the snow bomb is really probably the best place to go hunting, if you have you know enough enough firepower to do it and can stand the cold, just because it's easier to see everything. Now there are a lot of Larry the lumberjacks around, which kind of sucks, but um, overall it works pretty good uh, to hunt in the snow bomb. All right, I don't know if we have anything else we want to sell. I kind of want to keep the explosives for now. Um, let's go, let's go look in the bike here. Yeah, we wanted to sell this, but we might, we should probably repair it first. So we'll get a lot more money if we repair it first. So yeah, nothing else really in here that I would, I would sell at this point. So I think we're going to take all this stuff back home. All right, guys. Well, uh, we're, like I said, we're not too far from home. Looks like we might have to cross a little bit of rugged terrain, uh, to get over there, but at least it's not too far. Man, this trip through here was really rough, really rough, um, as was the trip uh, over there kind of around in here too. But anyways, we're, I'm going to go home, uh, do some inventory management, and then, oh, hell, let's get out of here. <laughs> uh, do some inventory management, and then I'll bring you back at that point, and we'll decide what our next move is. All right, so I'll see you in just a little bit. All right, guys, uh, we are back in our own town, but we just had an airdrop come in, so I figured I'd just go ahead and follow it and grab it right now. Um, 
The one bad thing, though, is we don't have a lot of inventory space at the moment. Because I have not been back to the base yet. We just got back into town. Um, so let's see if there's a few more things I can transfer uh, over. There was one thing. It's just easier for me to go through and just quickly click everything rather than try and visibly see what will go and what won't. Okay, so we got a few a few spots back. Uh, that should be enough to get whatever, whatever is in here. All right, let's check it out. Oh, wow, that is a lot of stuff. <laughs> Maybe we don't have room for it all. Good gravy. Okay, um, damn. All right, you know what we're going to have to do? That is a shitload of food. Okay, here's what we're going to have to do. We're going to put down a chest here. Whoops. And uh, I'll have to come back for it. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go home, drop all this stuff off, and then we'll go to do our turn in at the trader and then take the next job. And what I was thinking we might do, uh, instead of doing that job in this episode, maybe what we'll do is we'll go do that bookstore uh, that we found here in town. Uh, and see if we can pick up some schematics. I think that's what we'll we'll probably do for the rest of this episode. But let me go ahead and get my inventory management taken care of, and then I'll meet you back at uh, Trader Jen there for our turn-in, and then we'll go from there. All right, guys, I think we have actually have enough stuff to actually make our uh, Kim bench, but I've noticed they've changed the, the recipe a little bit. So this now takes five bottles of acid to make. Uh, it used to take a burning barrel, so apparently they decided to change that to acid, and I just happened to have five things of acid that we found just from looting cars on the way back, so we really lucked out with that. Um, I have a hundred forged iron here, so we're going to need those. The uh, beaker we found when, when we were out and about earlier, and um, there's one cooking pot, and I have uh, let's make uh, two more in here. And I think, uh, oh, and pipes. It needed uh, 30 pipes. So we'll grab those. Yeah, I had no idea they had changed that to use acid now. Interesting. We are continuing also to crank out the concrete mix. So come about day, th probably the morning of day 13-ish or so, uh, I'll start working on uh, the, the horde base again and getting the upgrades done to that that I want to do. And we'll have, you know, we'll have concrete at that point, which will be good. All right, so, um, is that everything we need? Let's take a look. Yes, sir. All right, there we go. Kim bench in 13 minutes. Wow, that's going to take a while. I've got um, this stuff here to take to Trader Gin, and we're going to need a couple of repair kits. Actually, let's just take all those repair kits. So that's currently worth 26, and if we repair it, it is now worth 96. You know, we're probably... It's kind of hard to see that text up there, isn't it? Yeah, you know, we're probably not... It's probably not worth burning a repair kit on that. We're not going to get that much more money for it. So we'll just sell that as it is. Let's go. We're moving up in the world. Moving up in the world. I'm sure enjoying the, the environment here on Alpha 19. Just, you know, the landscape and everything. It looks so much nicer kind of fun just riding around and seeing the sights you know meds drugs booze i've got it all okay amazing i hope you like your reward oh okay i we got we found the mod for the or the schematic for this um so i think it probably makes more sense to take this one so yeah let's do it uh we get 3000 xp and 800 dukes all right so we're still not done with tier one but since we have the mini bike now, we it's not such a big deal to go far away. However, it still is makes you know more convenient to stay close. So let's do this fetch uh, to the northeast. You need some work? I need some commit. Thanks, son. Okay. I knew you wouldn't let me down. So we'll keep we'll keep doing the quests, you know, because I want to see this you know trader chain quest. I think if I understand right, we have to do ten quests uh, for her, and then once we're done with the tenth quest. Uh, she then sends us on to the next trader, and then, you know, we can, we continue doing that. So that should be interesting. All right, let's take a look at your inventory, and we're going to sell you this, and we're going to sell you this. And have I seen... Ooh, she's got a shoddy, and we can buy it. <laughs> um, That's tempting. That is tempting, because once we get the shotgun, you know, then, then we can get rid of these blunderbusses, or maybe what I would do is keep 
one of them on the toolbar and continue, you know, using that. Let's look at the normal inventory that she... Oh, she's got nerdies. We can't... <laughs> We can't quite afford them. You know what, though? We are eventually going to find those. We really are. So I don't want to spend that much money on it. Not not at this point. Not at this point. She's got luckies, too. Gunpowder. She's got a, a, a green pistol. Now, remember, the other trader had an orange pistol. But, hmm. Yeah, I, I think I'm kind of favoring the shotgun over the over the pistol at this point the nice thing about the pistol is you know you can you can uh, kind of spray and pray with it I mean it's not fully automatic but you can you can just keep pulling the trigger which will you know get have a bit of a stun lock effect but the shotgun's probably going to be more devastating close up um, and you know now that we have the Kim bench we can start making ammo stuff so yeah I think guys I think I'm gonna do that I'm gonna go with the shotgun that she has for sale we will come across the pistol eventually um, the other thing too is the shotgun shells are a little cheaper to make than the nine mil bullets because you don't need the brass, right? So yeah, let's buy this. And now we have our shotgun. Beautiful. So I'm going to keep one blunderbuss on the toolbar. These other ones, we're just going to. Remember um, me if you need medical supplies. Let's get the ammo out of them. Will she even buy these? I don't know. Will she? Let's take a look. Yeah, she'll buy them. All right, let's sell these to her. I hope and, you come back and see me sometime. All right, let's go back to our base and grab the shotgun shells that I've been amassing. Not that I have a ton of them, but I do have some. And then we're going to go hit that bookstore. And we'll we'll worry about this new quest that she gave us uh, later on. So the bookstore is just right there. So, guys, I'll meet you over at the bookstore, and let's do it. All right, here we are at the new crack -a book They definitely changed this. It looks a lot more like a, a certain very popular bookstore that, whose name I won't mention, <laughs> just in case there's copyright issues. Probably not, but you never know. You never know. We'll take those and we'll scrap a doodle of this stuff. Um, yeah, that's our quest marker there. Okay, so let's uh, do this like we normally would. Um, I don't have any. I don't have any uh, flagstone on me. All right, well, I guess we'll just have to use wood. Hopefully it won't. Uh... We're all loaded there. Okay. So let's see what kind of schematics we can get here today. I'm just going to set that there for a minute and see if we can get someone's attention. Hello. Make some noise. Oh, shit. What the hell, man? The <laughs> window's open. <laughs> I didn't realize that window was open. All right, well, let's pull these these guys out of here. Let's deal with him. Nice. Took him out in one shot. Love the shotgun. Okay, um, is he going to break that window out and come right after us? Okay, it looks like it's a little tougher than just normal glass, so let's get this on our toolbar and see if we can kneecap him here. I still want to conserve ammo. I don't have a, an abundance of it yet. But, you know, once we get the, once we get the Kim bench set up, um, we will, uh, you know, we'll make we'll be able to make a bunch of shotgun shells, and then we'll be able to start using that more often, and not having to do so much melee. Looks like we got another customer here. They don't seem to. Okay, that thing is getting close to being broken. So let's just, just get ready to switch to our shotgun here in a second. Oh man, that was handy. We do have Zikaruskis outside. Rather not get their their attention. Okay, we gotta go because people are coming from outside now. Doggone it! Oh, get on the bike! Get on the bike! 
Why aren't you getting on the bike? I'm pressing E and he's not getting on the bike. I, I was glitched out somehow. I had to switch off for my blunderbuss. It was glitched out. Oh man, look at how they hurt the shit out of us and we got a critical now too. That's bullshit. That was not my fault. That was a bug. <laughs> Fuck. All right. How do we fix abrasions? Um, medical items like aloe cream, first aid bandages, or first aid kits. Increase the healing speed. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's take that. Yeah, that was bullshit, man. Pure and utter bullshit. I'm gonna eat a bacon and eggs... Eh, let's wait a little bit longer. No, you know what? Let's eat it. We get 18 health from it. Just to get our health back up a little bit. Because, man, they pounded us. Shit. Okay, there's two of them. A little bit concerned about those zombies over there. Let's go around this way. I don't know what happened to those other Zekis. Whoops. Yeah, see, they can't... They don't seem to be able to, uh, get out of there. They're stuck. Ah, oh, shit. Keep hitting the wrong button there. I'm just wondering if that zombie that we're hearing is outside or in the back here. We can close that door. Oh my goodness. I got somebody's attention. Is there three zombies there, like one on top of their head? Yeah, sure enough. Oh, this is nice. These zombies can't can't get back here from that way. So it sounds like she's in here. Maybe. Or on the roof. Oh wow. This is a uh, quite the roof. It's almost certainly going to be a Zeke in there, and there might even be a buzzard around. All right, so there is a lot. Uh, there are a lot of books in this bookstore now. All these piles of books are lootable. Oh, for Pete's sake. Are you kidding me? Come here, dickweed. Okay, well, guys... Let's, uh, find some books.
Hey, look at that. We got a toilet pistol. <laughs> All right. Awesome. That's the first toilet pistol we found in uh, Alpha 19. I love it. I love it. Alright guys, I think we've pretty much looted the whole place. There, there's a lot of stuff in here. A lot of stuff. Um, we didn't go up on the roof, but apparently this is the in-loot crate here anyway. Um, but it's locked. Do I have any lock picks on me? I do. Alright, well let's try these three lock picks and see if they actually work. If they don't, I'll come back here with my, steel, or with my iron pick and break this later. I'm not going to break it with my stone axe because that's going to take forever. Okay, one more try. Okay, so, yeah, I'll have to come back and uh, do that later. I'm just wondering if we should try and go up on the roof. Um, I, I would, except for that, you know, we actually found the in loot, so I don't know that there's a whole lot of reason to go up there. We'll probably, you know, run into some Seekers and maybe even some Buzzers. I don't know. Um, I guess they want us to... Jump up here and then up here. Whoops, no, that didn't work. How are we even supposed to get up there exactly? This way, maybe? I mean, I know we can always nerd pull, but... Okay, well, I guess we can do it like that. You know what, though? I think we're actually supposed to come down this way, not up, because there's the ladder out in the back there. Uh, But let's just go... L what the hell? Let's just do it. We're, we're here trying to figure out the how this POI works so we might as well just take it all the way right there we go so I'm expecting some resistance up here too so we'll just have to be on our guard have our AKs and our shotties ready there's a couple zombie closets over there which usually yields somebody Oh shit, there's a lot of zombies up here. Um, okay. I was thinking maybe one or two, not that many all at once. Can we get up here and then... I'm, I've been having some serious frames too. Um, oh shit, I keep hitting the wrong button there. Okay, come on up here. There you go. Whoa, shit. Not good. Why in the fuck did I take my blunderbuss off my toolbar? Okay, well, I think that's it. Anyway, yeah, what I was saying is, um, I don't 
I don't know if this will show up a whole lot on the video, but when I had to go back outside and find some stone to repair my stone axe, all of a sudden my frames just tanked and they're still acting a little weird. It's the first time I've seen that happen on single player. It did happen to me on my multiplayer server. Uh, but yeah, like I said, that's the first time I've seen it happen here on the single player server. So I don't know what's going on with that, but uh, I mean, I've been playing on pretty much on ultra settings since we started this series and, and have had zero trouble on the single player game, but something happened uh, <laughs> when we were doing that and then everything just tanked. All right, guys. Well, um, we're pretty much done here. Did I grab this duffel bag? Yeah, we're pretty much done here, uh, except for, you know, the end loot chest there. But like I said, I'm not going to, I'm not going to try and break a 7,000 hit point chest open with a stone axe. Ain't going to happen. Um, so what I might do is go back to the base, drop off, come back here with the iron pick, uh, and open it up, see what's in there, and then we'll end the episode. But I'm going to, of course, do a cut to do that, because I have a feeling this episode is going to be kind of long anyway. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm still very, very framey here, so, um, we'll have to kind of see, wait and see how, you know, how to deal with that. But if it keeps happening, we might have to dumb down the graphics a little bit. All right, anyway, I'll meet you back here with the iron pick, and we'll open it up and see what we got. All right, let's see what this son of a bitch has in it. Man, that took a long time. Okay, um, oh boy, I don't know. I mean, it's nice to find 54762s. That was barely worth the effort, though. I'll tell you what, that took me so long, you guys, and it's because I don't have any uh, sexy T and only have one point in um, minor 69 or so. I can only get, you know, a few shots, and then I had to rest because my stamina ran out, and then my stupid iron pick broke, so I had to use the stone pick to finish the rest of it out. So it almost wasn't worth it. But I guess for 56762s, probably in that case it was. Uh, we're going to scrap this stuff and probably just, I mean, I know we could sell those, but yeah, what the hell, maybe we'll sell them. Okay. Now, there there are still, uh, there is still some resources we could get out of here. I mean, I'm not, I'm not going to do that on camera here, uh, but, I mean, there's some leather... A few chairs, a couple of things of concrete, and, um, oh, we missed a pile of books here. Um, and some cobble, so I might come back off camera and just kind of harvest that stuff, because, you know, we might get a quest for this place in the future, and then it'll reset, and then we can do it all over again. But man, there are so many books in this place, like, probably three times the amount that was in the old, you know, normal size crack a book store. And that's super fantastic. I got almost 500 paper out of here, you guys, which is going to be great for our shotgun sales. In terms of what we found, um, you know, for making shit, um, I mean, yeah, let's see. I'm trying to think. We found the cigar um, schematic. Uh, this gives us, you know, the discount at the trader. Oh, it requires testosterone extract. Wow, okay. Extract. We're going to have to kill a bear to get that. Uh, it used to just be the plant fibers in the paper. Interesting. Okay, so we found the cigar. We found, uh, you know, the one that allows us to find more ammunition and loot. And uh, what else What else was really significant? Well, we found the pistol and the toilet, which was great. And, you know, just some other pretty good stuff. Nothing nothing that was like, oh, my God, I can't believe we found that. But we did find some good stuff, and it's going to be useful to us. All right, I've got to let you go. This episode is going to be so damn long, it's going to take me 10 years to edit the damn thing. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video. See, my frames are fine now. I don't know. I don't get it. We'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.